How you doing everyone? Scott back again. This time for a vinyl collection update. Um, I feel like I've not done one of these for ages so I thought I'd take this opportunity to kind of go through some of the stuff that I got for Christmas, birthday um, and some stuff I picked up along the way as well. I mean I've got some stuff on eBay for some absolute bargains in the last month so uh, quite excited to show you that stuff. Um, but due to like my top albums of 2020, metal tags and all that kind of stuff. I've not really had a chance to kind of share with you guys for a while what I've been picking up. So there's some reissues, um, like I said, some bargains off eBay and uh, a couple of box sets. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with this one. 30 Years of Nuclear Blast. This was released in 2017. Uh, this is a 7 LP set. Basically what it says in the box, just a range of songs from a range of bands over 30 years that have been represented by Nuclear Blast. So um, I do have this as the, the kind of digi book, but I thought this was awesome to have on vinyl. Um, so it's called the Ultimate Vinyl Collection. Uh, bands like Children of Bodom, Benediction, Carcass, um, Slayer. Exodus, Testament, Death Angel, Overkill, Creator, Anthrax, Machine Head, Destruction, Tankard, Accept, Blind Guardian, Halloween, Primal Fear, Rage, Sabaton, Battle Beast, Metal Church, Hammerfall, Doro, the list goes on. But they are some highlights of the bands that feature on this. Um, inside, You do get a uh, kind of write up and some artwork. And this is the cover for all the LPs. They all come on a gatefold and show the bands that feature on that certain disc. And every LP comes on this kind of army green vinyl. So, a really nice set to have, and it's probably something I'd never buy myself. Um, plus, I had the CD, so it wasn't really high up on my want list. But I thought it was a great opportunity to get for Christmas, so there we go. Um, 30 Years of Nuclear Blast, just a really good set with a range of bands. Um, so, I was really excited to get that. I can't get the lid back on. Okay, next one is Iron Maiden and the the complete albums collection from 1990 to 2015. Um, now the story behind this, this has been on my want list for I reckon maybe a year and a half. It was on Amazon, it then was out of stock and I kind of thought it was, it's a wee bit of a rip off because it was, it was going for about 75 quid and the thing with this is you don't get all the albums in it. You've got to collect the albums. So you you do get No Prayer for the Dying and you do get Fear of the Dark and a massive black stiffener. Um, so that's the albums that go into the box. And like I said, it's a bit of a rip-off because if you buy the albums separately, if you buy No Prayer and Fear of the Dark separately, it probably wouldn't even be 50 quid. So to pay 75 for it, I thought it was a bit steep, but it did come up on pre-order again. They were obviously getting stock back in and it was 55 quid. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to jump on it. But you're really paying for the opportunity to fill the box. Um, but nonetheless, it's a it will be a great set to have once it's completed. I'm going to give myself till Christmas or the end of this year to fill the box. I'm not sure. That's a bit of a bit of an undertaking. But um and to be honest, to pull the trigger on this, this and this will be quite heartbreaking 
if I'm going to be honest. But um, it would be great to have a full set. So there we go. That is a uh, 1990 to 2015 Iron Maiden. I would love to get the. There's a set that starts from 81 to 88, but it's so hard to get. Um, I mean, you could pay over 300 quid for it and you only get the first three albums plus the box. So you're paying £100 an album. Um, so it's just it's so hard to find as well. And the thing is with that box, that box set, I've actually got all the reissues on my shelf. So I only really need the box. So I'd be paying £300 for the box. Um, but, you know, the collector kind of thing, it's nice to have on the shelf. So maybe one day if I see it cheap, but... I can't see it. Anyway, that's the two box sets. Uh, next up, we'll go through, through some reissues. Uh, Saxon, um, the 2016 reissue of Lionheart. Now, I struggle with early Saxon. Um, I don't know why. It just Some of the albums just don't click with me. Um, I'm not sure if it's one of those things that I'd, I maybe had to be there when they came out to really appreciate them. But um, I bought Thunderbolt last year I think and I thought it was an awesome album so it did give me that kind of push to go back through some of their albums and I kind of started with their later stuff so um, I kind of sampled this on YouTube thought it was great um, I thought it was just along the lines of Thunderbolt so um, this was on the want list and that I got this for Christmas so like I said it was reissued in 2016 um, I didn't know this when, when it was ordered, but it says it comes on lilac vinyl. Now, I would say this is more a deep blue. It's not really lilac, but it's it's nice to have anyway. And I think the blue would suit the cover better anyway. So that's Saxon and Lionheart. So I'm kind of on a mission to go back, kind of go back, th probably starting from the, the later stuff and see how I get on with Saxon. Because it's a band that... I feel like I, I really should like, but I kind of struggle with their early stuff, especially the, the first couple of albums. So, anyway, I'll move on. Next one is the reissue of Halloween and Seven Sinners. I say reissue, this is the first time it's really been re first time it's been issued on vinyl. Um, and this is this is the album that I kind of came into the later Halloween. So I knew Walls of Jericho, uh, Keepers Part 1 and 2. But past that, this was the first album. This and The Dark Ride were the first albums that I uh, listened to and bought the CDs and all that kind of stuff. So um, maybe I'm being biased, but I just think this is this album is tremendous from Halloween. Um I mean, check out songs, Where the Sinners Go, Are You Metal, Who Is Mr. Madman, um, The Sage, The Fool, The Sinner, um, what was the other one? Far In The Future, really good stuff, and Andy Derris sounds phenomenal on it, as he does with most Halloween albums, so yeah, you should really check this out if you're, you're kind of fuzzy with the the later Halloween releases. Um, this came on... What is going on with these? Um, this came on Queer Vinyl. So that is that. There we go, Halloween and Seven Sinners. If you've not heard it, check it out, because it's a good one. Next up is King Diamond and Fatal Portrait. Now, this is the first King Diamond album I own. And um, I don't know, it's just one of those artists that I've never really, I mean, I've listened to maybe two or three of his albums, but never got to the point where I was collecting the stuff. So I thought this would be a good time to start. Um, I didn't really know where to start. And well, to be honest, I was going to, I was going to go with Abigail. But Abigail was the most expensive out of the lot. So I thought, why not just start with the first King Diamond record, so that's what I did. Um, I actually got this through on Amazon Music. Not Amazon Music. Yeah, Amazon Music. Um, 
some of the albums I buy do go straight to Amazon Music, so I had this on in the work truck, and I worked with a guy, he's a metalhead, but he was not sure of King Diamond's vocals, and I can see why uh, his vocals do split some people, but um, I think I think this is a great album, just atmospheric. Um, so I'll m then move on to maybe either the cheapest one or the next in the discography, I'll see. But first King Diamond and Fatal Portrait. Uh, next up is Incorruptible by Iced Earth. Um, this came out in 2017, but I bought the CD when it came out, so I've not really been in a massive rush to buy the vinyl. But it's a 10 out of 10 album. It's superb. Um, and I'm not I'm not one of these guys who's really clued up on Ice the Earth. I've not got lots of their albums. Um, but this is phenomenal. Um, I mean, check out the songs Black Flag, Great Heathen Army, Raven Wing, Clear the Way. Awesome. Just awesome tracks. This is an album I, I usually put on when I'm at work. And I'm working away and... Um, I've got the earphones in. This is an album I just sit and listen to all the time. So, yeah, if you've not checked out Incorruptible by Ace there, check it out. It's awesome. And that comes in a, a gatefold, double, double disc gatefold. So happy to have that one. 10 out of 10. Uh, next up, something a bit different. Control Denied. Uh, the Fragile Art of Existence. Again, this has been my want list for... A long long time but I've just never pulled the trigger so I thought I'll put it on my my birthday Christmas want list and uh, it, it showed up so um, basically if you're not clued up on Control Denied it's Chuck Schuldiner's project Chuck Schuldiner from Death um, he doesn't sing uh, vocal duties are Tim Amar I think his name is uh, Chuck just plays guitar but don't expect Death um, clean vocals and progressive um, progressive in capital letters which I think would put a lot of people off but um, it's still really great stuff not a massively long album either so definitely worth checking out uh, features Steve DiGiorgio and a couple of other um, guys from Death who played on Sound of Perseverance so um I think they, I think they were working on a second album of Con Control Denied, but obviously uh, Chuck died before that could be finished. So I think there was talk of it being recorded and put out, but who knows. But yeah, definitely check it out. I think, I don't think it's for everyone, but it's definitely worth your time and giving it a go. Like I say, it's really progressive and that can kind of put people off. Um. So next up are going to be two absolute bargains that I got on eBay, just to finish it up. Um, first one is Hex and Under the Spell. Now, at the end of last year, I was really wanting to get my arson gear to start collecting Hex um, because their albums are so good. And... I was in kind of two minds whether I'd try and go for the, the OGs or go for the reissues because the reissues are so easy to find. But a, a couple of weeks later, after I, I was thinking about it, this popped up on eBay. Starting price, three quid. And um, so I put in the lowest bid. And I don't know if it's over Christmas, but there wasn't much interest. And I won it for three quid. If you're not... If you're not... Um, familiar with Hex, it's basically, now I'm not, I, I, I kind of, I'm going to steal this sentence, but, and I saw it on YouTube, when I used to listen to this on YouTube, uh, somebody basically put Judas Priest with Dio on vocals, and I, I couldn't put it better my, myself, I mean, you can't argue with that, that's exactly how it sounds, Judas Priest, kind of 80s Judas Priest, kind of that, um, I would say it's kind of ram it down, painkiller era of Judas Priest with Dio. I mean, that's essentially what it sounds like. Uh, released on Roadrunner. When was this? 1986 on uh, Roadrunner. So there we go. Hex under the spell. Check it out if you haven't already. It's awesome. And the last one is another absolute bargain. 
uh, Zentrix for whose advantage. Um, so I saw this. This has always kind of been on my kind of saved list, so it kind of pops up um, if somebody puts, if obviously if somebody lists it on eBay, it pops up in my feed. And I've never seen this for under fifty quid. Um, I think there's actually a sealed copy on eBay right now for two hundred and fifty quid. But you know, it's a great album, but it's not a a price I'd be willing to pay for it. So this popped up for ten pounds fifty a uh, starting bid. So did the usual, put the starting bid in, and won it for ten pounds fifty. Um, I couldn't actually believe it. I thought people would be all over this album, bidding war, everything, but no. And I kept going to the, the description to see if am I missing something or is there something wrong with it. I've had it on twice. It's awesome. It plays flawlessly. Um, I would say the cover is VG plus condition. So I, I, I don't know. I just think I just got really lucky. Um, and also a, another amazing album. Um, if you've not checked out Zentrix, check them out. It's a crime that these guys weren't bigger or a, as big as some of the the US thrash or the German thrash bands because they, they did it so well. Um, I've yet to pick up Shattered Existence, but hopefully this will be the year for Shattered Existence. But to be honest, I didn't think I'd have this this soon either. So yeah, check out uh, Zentrix for whose advantage from 1990. Uh, I mean, songs like Questions, For Whose Advantage, False Ideals, awesome. Just do yourself a favour and check it out. So, there we go. That is the last one. Zentrix and For Whose Advantage. So, if you've stayed with me this long, thank you very much. Um, I think my next video is going to be my restoration of this Best of the Beast. See, it doesn't look too bad on camera just now, but um, it's quite battered and bruised. So I'm kind of going to go through this and see how we can make this looking prettier. It won't be perfect, but it's good to it's it'll be good for it to look good on the shelf. Um, so I think that's going to be my next one. But in the meantime, let me know what you think of these pickups, and I'll see you very very soon. Cheers.